everybody let's uh, it's Thursday again live stream and today we have the day that we released um, quad as VST audio unit and rack uh, AAX and originally it was a rack extension so uh, we had a busy day tomorrow we send out a newsletter so that we would not have too much uh, of uh, email traffic because once we release a new uh, material, very often we get a lot of emails. And um, yeah, some little things changed from Quad from last week. What you can see here is that um, movement, if it's done uh, and addressed to the X or the Y, it's a second dot appears, which shows how this um, movement is. So you see the free LFO um, changes the face distortion uh, amount of the X with 25%. I can increase that and make it slower. So the modulation is visible. It's a dot in the background. Another thing is that what we also did a change is that the moment uh, here selecting, if you select one of the uh, types like FM, you see below the dials there are the current parameters. So if I go to string, you see it shows length and damping. And this is something which we not could do in the Reason uh, version because of some limitation in the SDK. But here in the uh, VST version it would be is possible. So we did that. So. Um, yeah, and we also update the um, rack extension. It's the case that somebody asked if the rack extension would have additional spectrum waveforms. To my opinion, we added a lot, so I'm not sure if it's different from the original release version. What it's anyhow for sure is that the uh, rack extension soon will have also the many types of filters are uh, the new uh, zero latency filters so in total 36 um, filter types so uh, and the rack extension will have the same features in the fx2 like you can have a uh, delay reverb or a reverb delay order because normally it would be the case that with rack extension you have only one single uh, product so it's either delay or reverb and then in the rack extension you also can have an extra box very soon which offers these two uh, two modes so this about um, the um, the quads and of course I have a bit more room okay uh, hey let me see where I have this one a bit more news I have room for that, so let's open it. Here we have punch two. No, that's the wrong one. Let me see where it is. Here we have punch two. You could hear it in the background. So when it plays now. And you see, it's the small version because today I received the small version as a beta. Because we have this color option, which we promised a few weeks ago that we're going to have in Punch 2 this color feature. And oi, hi, Gerrit, in the chat room. Nice to see you again. I hope you already enjoyed Quad. So, um, yeah, many people have a bit more time making music because they have to stay in home uh, because of the uh, lockdown or soft lockdowns so okay so look back here to punch two you can see we have here a new button called color and uh, it means that you can uh, select your own color so for bass drum you see all the colors now are the original color from um, from punch and the if I select snare, I can take a different color. Or if I would say, for instance, for the slice, I could give the color yellow to all the slices. Now, this is a, a setting which is called global. But there's also an um, option that you say that 
in the preset and in the preset it saves this setting you see 24 pads it saves this setting in this preset we are testing it now but you see it has a lot of interesting options people want to use their own colors for instance for tom sound i can paint this one for the user which can be anything uh, i can take this sound uh, of this color and yeah the sound of user could be different each time still could be then um, a model or one of the built-in samples of course talking about samples with samples if you pick one color for samples let's say green you see three pads are green now the point is of course if you want to have a drum kit which is only based on samples then you only would have one color that's the reason why we also have the feature so that you can save it per preset so if you have many uh, uh, let's say a whole bank with only samples each pad can have its own color of course the max color is 15 what we have on board but in general maybe you say okay I have three sample pads which are all bass drums and then you give them all the same color so then it's up to you how to colorize it you see so this is the reason why we have global global colors for the types of sounds and presets for the single sounds is this punch 3 no 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 that's not punch 3 this is punch 2 we hope to release this update in um in may with some additional sounds and yeah it's the case that we are testing it now out and you see we have up here you have the bank manager uh, button and next to it would be then color but I think it's maybe better to have the manager on the outside because I'm very used to click there on the manager and then by accident I would click on color so these are little things we need to do and I see some people joining in the chat room so um, we have today a bit of news also about punch two and give me one second here it is again and the version you see now is my 100 percent size version because if i would go bigger it's not yet having all the color settings but this is how it will work so you click on color you have the global option which uh, sets the color for each type of sound. So a color for the bass drum would be maybe red, snare drum, you would maybe purple, uh, and that, yeah, you can build up the, your color setting. And in the advanced panel, it also appears in these colors. And also in the pattern page, you see where the pads appear are then also having these colors. The, um, the breaks and grooves, they stay as they are in the original color okay so i'm checking now in the chat room and i see some uh, quite some people popped up <clears throat> yeah and then of course it's important if you have one system with your own color setup is that you can save it so here you see reset color sheen then it resets it all you can load your own setup and save your setup so if you have a different system you can transfer it to your other system or if you have a new system you back up a uh, back up this file and then you are ready to go and have again your your color uh, set up yeah i can make the screen bigger but i think if i do this here because john did send me so here in the preset menu by the way that's good for you maybe to know in the presets uh, screen you also can change the screen of the the plugin so I would set it here to 150 percent then I need to reselect again or load again this song to make it active so it's not directly active so I go back here and reselect punch 2 again Yeah, and this is the normal 150% size which I use on my computer, but you see... Uh, um, oh, it's there. I didn't know that. So I can, I can show it also with the big screen version. I did not know that John already had that ready for this size of the... Uh, of punch. Okay, so uh, that's cool. Good work from John. 
and let's see I need to go back to my screen again here so when I open set it to uh, always on top so for the ones which are a bit later I see some people joining in ABC the beat making is by the way a nice page if you are French and you like things about reason and some reviews about plugins in French ABC uh, beat, uh, the beat make, making has some nice videos um, I see uh, Mitch Mitchell he does some reviews if I'm not wrong and um, yeah some people in the chat room nice so yeah that's uh, what I wanted to show you today is that we are working hard on this new feature so this here is the original one so you can do reset color then it's again the original but um, I could say for instance snare have it red these are the snare bass drum on the bass drum uh, epic bass drum but you still can use the original color and of course then we have this color which is a bit closer for Hyatt's uh, so this one looks very close to the original one here you see it but it's then a bit different because in the off state it does light up a bit different but I also want it to be the case that somebody if they don't like the color feature that they can reset the whole thing and have the original color so you can save a color <clears throat> And load the color scheme then you see you have this button global or preset which means global means that for bass drum you have a color for snare drum you have a color and then of course there are people who only use samples uh, so if I would go here to the default bank default presets and there's default sample pads these are only sample pads it's empty it's an empty default preset from punch 2 where you can drag and drop your samples and in that case you would have because if I would have global here I would pick sample and then only one color everything will be again the same color and maybe you are using samples a lot of samples but the samples are some of them a bass drum some of a snare or sound effects or whatever or symbols so therefore we added also this feature called preset and in preset you simply pick a color per uh, um, per pad so pad 1 can be red if that's the bass drum pad 2 is a sample pad can also be red so pad 3 the sample pad is maybe your snare and then you give it a different color and then this is saved within the preset of course you need to save the preset then so uh, yeah that's that's in general the whole idea we are trying it out now. It's almost ready to go. We need to do some beta testing. We have to check if everything works nice. Save color uh, scheme. Uh, you can save it. And you see here inside the documents, my documents, Rob Harpen Punch 2 colors, there the file would be saved. And on your Mac, it would be applications slash Rob Harpen, where the files would be saved. And of course, back up these files if you have a new system or you want to use it on a different system so uh, yeah that's the news about punch 2 in May we hope to release it included some new presets so it will continue and of course um, um, yeah oh, punch 2 is uh, is a growing machine from that perspective um, in terms of features so okay let's go to the other thing of course today we release quad and maybe some people think okay why uh, is the quad not as a single product in the download page for explore 6 well the reason for this is that uh, with adding a new product um, the serial number needs to be entered so therefore we say download the full explore 6 again also there are maybe some other plugins which get updates which you will have then also but also because of XY transfer and uh, because of quad you need to run first the installer 
from Explore 6 because if you would by accident use the wrong serial because Explore 6 you get two serials and maybe you run them with the wrong serial you have a problem and you need to create a support ticket so therefore we say uh, if you have Explore 6 download the full installer and run that again then you have quad and in update from um, XY transfer so quad yeah we talked about last week about quad and we in the meantime a few little changes happened so i showed them already a bit if you have a modulation it's now displayed in the xy so you see the free lfo is modulating the x parameter of of the phase distortion in oscillator one so it displays it so if i go faster That is added. It's also added that here. You see, no. If we have, uh, if you would select something like ring, it appears the uh, the type of modulation. If you go to string, the dials show length and damping. So this is a dynamic update from the parameter info below the screen. So this we added uh, in terms from the last version and. Um, um let me see if there's another thing no i think it's it's the last things we get in in this uh this plugin so i'm going to check um in the chat room somebody is asking uh By the way, Punch 2 plus machine, it works very good. Yeah, that's great to hear. Just drag and drop on Punch 2. Yeah, definitely that's good to hear. I need to make a video very soon about this drag and drop and Punch because we had this update, which I really need to mention to users. We need to really need to catch up in making more tutorials. And of course I had, um, today I created the tutorial about Quad which you could check out for if you are new to quad you will see how the basic concept of it is and about uh, so uh, very short to going back to um to punch two because yeah if you have drag and drop you can throw it in on the sample path but if you go to the advanced page of this of this particular pad you see here we have the folders where we have a lot of built-in samples which you, which we install for you we kept free to user for you but if you drag and drop without changing anything it drops here and this main route uh, we added now a feature if you go to the menu where you can select your own drag and drop folder and in this case I selected drop folder is to user so that's also a thing which we added in the last version of punch 2 a few weeks ago and I think it's wise and I create a new video about it because yeah, not everybody sees that here is a menu and it's easier to see a YouTube video from one or two minutes than looking in the manual which is still better because we keep on adding things to punch 2 Okay, so I'm looking here in the chat room. You had create preset last week, okay? Oh, last week, I forgot what I did last week. That's a very good one. Oh, I showed, I think, in, in um, how quad work, yeah. And I um, created a few presets which also appear then in now in Quad. That's yeah, a good point. It was this April ARP. And I found out last week, now I can record it again, that the, um, the ARP and the delay had a, a, a bug in. A, a bug in. A bug. <laughs> a delay. The tempo delay was not working correctly. I created this one. Uh, 
last week. And this lead sound April session lead. This, I think we had maybe another one. I cannot recall it anymore. Oh, yeah, we played around with some uh, with some uh, some presets to show. So um, yeah, hopefully you will enjoy quad. It's really a different synthesizers again from the other instruments. Okay, I see Gad Browns is Mini Pop Seven. Nice. Uh, yeah, the. Ah, in Punch 2 there are some um, samples from the KR55, but I may need to create a, a drum kit from it. So still much work to do. Let's keep that on mind for in May, once we do a bit more presets for Punch 2, that we maybe do some uh, old classic machines. Um, <clears throat> that's lead, yes, indeed. So another thing is that we update and let's go back here to Cubase and pick here the mixer because we did update also XY transfer. So when I have here a, uh, let's play some beat. Okay, why I don't, I don't hear any beat. That's not nice. Aha, logic, because I have an empty drum beat in I need to pick here, of course, a preset. Okay, I simply pick one preset and then I can show you with the drums that we uh, have now a new version for XY transfer. Okay, now I go to insert and uh, there are not that many presets, new presets for XY transfer, but because yes, yeah, this granular, it's really pretty experimental you really need to figure things out so here's xy transfer and this one is also updated now so if you only have xy transfer download the latest version and you will have the granular so here when i go to uh, the introduction bank and then i can pick one preset let me see drum loop grain one okay of course need to start on the first beat And here we have the granular working. And you see it's tempo synced and it's a bit detuned. This is the original one and this is the granular. And here you can pink in sync, change it size of the granulars and now it's mixed up so let's start again because of the timing it's important that it starts again each time okay let me have this one so that's a bit easier for me to restart so this is the granular on this drum loop Do some weird things. So you have you have to experiment with this. There's a manual. If you click here on the help, that's really important because I need to read the help with this. They have have the the grain, and there it is. Really explained very well. But still, even if you understand it, you still need to tweak around to get a, a, yeah, a typical sound with it. But it's for the freaks and absolutely cool. Oh, what is that? Okay, so I, let's start again. So you really can make it really a sort of rhythm thing. Use the XY for it. Of 
course I need to start on the first of the beat, otherwise it doesn't sync. So you can do some weird things with it. So when I go now uh, to the drum and percussion, I, I created a few presets with this grain. Let me see where are they are. Grain one. I think that's the one I just played, the first one. Bypass. So let's see, we have another one, number three. That's a bit offbeat. Yeah, it's indeed, I see somebody, it's the aim and break. Yeah, we have that uh, a few times, but then as slices. Of course, that's to show how slices works with uh, punch two. It's really off the beat. Which is, of course, depending on your. And I need to trigger it. So, read the manual with this. It's really a very strange, experimental, grainy thing. It's on the voice also possible. Let's put it on the voice. So, I do now here a. Uh, let's see, a bypass. Oh, I also can do it here. Bypass on the drum, and here we have my voice. Where is my voice? Ah, uh, here I am. Oh, I have the Vox former out. I could have it on. Maybe then the voice is a bit more stable in volume. But let's go and take here the um, x ray transfer, and then I start sounding a bit different, of course, now. Um, not really. That's weird. It should be different. Maybe I have the wrong. Oh yeah, I have the wrong. I think I need to pick the right channel. That would help. Where is it? Ah. Hey, it's already on it. That's a cool. That's where it's already active. Okay. Okay. Yeah, now it's active. Uh, so, so let's go, let's go to the vocal. Yeah, this is the vocal bank. Lo-fi talk. Yeah, it sounds really lo-fi. But I have a few vocal grain. And this vocal grain is called white. So you have a left-right uh, sound. Oh, if I do uh, bypass, you hear mono. And this one makes left-right stereo. It's a bit detuned. Uh, this is also a... It is nice on a singing vocal. I don't have one now in the... Um, <clears throat> uh, not a singing female track on my current uh, setup so I would need to load a, a um, sample but uh, yeah here you can see I can go up down and you still hear a bit of my original voice uh, which I could shut down by using this one so this would be on the uh, yeah you only hear the white ethics now Great. Of course, I cannot sing, but yeah, you can play around. Um, this is another one. A uh, so I hear some weird sound. Grain Y three. Let's see if I have another one. Preset. Oh, vocal. Uh, <laughs> Oh, I 
Okay, okay, now I'm, now I'm, I'm, back, I'm again. back again. So here, so this here, is a bit this normal, it has a has small a room. room. So this so is this the vocal back song. Weird stuff, uh, vocal So no X, Y delay. Yeah, it also built in delay here. Nice room delay. That is our all vocal bearings. Yeah, you see, there are a lot of uh, weird things possible with XY tracks. So of course, if you have it, the granular um, on the on the drum loop again. It's a triple sound. And of course, yeah, if you have the different folders, you have the filter bank. So we have a band pass. There are many filter types here on board. I mean, I think it's something over 30 filter types, even EQ filters, which you can use with the XY. So there are many good, uh, uh, presets on board which are a good starting point a moving one let's see if that one how oh, that one works on the, the drum loop so many many things on board there's a band called drums and percussion purely with uh, yeah they focus on on putting it on drums uh, loop 25 okay I need to start on the first beat that's a bit weird I think I'm I'm not sure when the first beat starts. Beat number three, it should be. Okay, that explains it a bit. So here I start up the first beat. Here you get some a bit of uh, the comp filter. So all kind of... Uh, here's the pink. The grain used in combination with the comb filter. So on drum loops can be very interesting. Lo-fi. This is a vowel filter on the drum. So if I bypass it, this bypass. I'm just looking here, yeah. So yeah, many presets on board, which really a good starting point. You have three blocks you can use. Um, you have different uh, routings. So the paths of the blocks, if they are in series or parallel, all that kind of features are also inside of it. I'm checking now the chat room. I don't want to miss anything. <clears throat> oh, yeah, it's a point. Yeah, any modulation source, you could pick a MIDI source, which could be then note. Maybe if it's in there, I'm not sure. Your note, central note, and combine that on the destination on the 
pitch of the grains. Oh, it would be pretty complex, but I think it would be possible. Yeah, Vokoda is more a bandpass filter story, combined bandpass. Uh, but if you want to yeah, break down vocals, it's pretty much possible with XY Transfer. You can really make some uh, sounds which are from the Borg. Uh, uh, let's see if I can load in very fast a vocal. Most likely, I don't have any vocals on board. Let's see if I can find something very fast. Most likely not. So I'm checking on my hard disks very fast. Yeah, I don't know where to look. Oh, it's it's not in my um, not in the pool currently. Unlucky. Okay. Okay, so I'm looking in the chat room. So that's also new from um, from the update free release today uh, for XY transfer with the new granular thing, and of course for the people who have Explore Six, they uh, they have done Quad and the update of um, XY transfer. Of course, I could pick also the loop. Let's see. Not sure what this one. So this is a drum loop preset from Jamal. And it's throwing. So this is the preset from the introduction bank. And it's thrown into the X-Ray transfer. It's the talking comp, comp filter, bypass. So that's the original sound, so it could be your drum kit. see a lot of presets which are base for drum loop. You see all the three XY pads are having its own movement. So some weird stuff going on here. Especially XY transfer is really cool for So uh, let's take another preset from Punch, because this one is a bit repeating. Sorry that I keep on moving these screens. It's a bit... Uh... It's a bit too high in tempo. So here I need to go down in tempo with this one. Trap is, of course, very low in tempo, 70 beats per minute. Let's see. Hmm. see a lot of uh, just let me see what it does with these grains I would be curious how this sound with grains at 808 with grains okay play
bit weird, isn't it? No, not really a success. Maybe the other one. It's a bit too slow for the grains, that seems. See, it's a lot lower in pitch. So these are the grains, men minus 12, semitone. Well, this could be possible. So this one is a nice setting. So it's really tweaking around. If you have a preset, tweak around. Of course, over time I hope to have a bit more presets and I will have to make a good uh, tutorial about uh, this feature, this new grain inside XY Transfer. It's very, yeah, you see different type of uh, grains, loop, uh, loop sync, and um, okay. And looking here. If somebody has a question, um, so maybe you're a bit later, but we released today Quad and this update for uh, XY Transfer. Okay, so back to Quad. Maybe some already did download, I'm not sure. You see here is the bank manager, the introduction bank. So if you're new to uh, the raw problem products, you can download the demo version from Quad. It has the introduction bank and that really gives a very good impression what you can expect. It's of course having different faces. You can, it's great for sometimes a bit more edgy sounds. This more synth sound, XYD move. Of course, dubstep I call them, but it's mostly all kind of wobbles. You see, this is new from last week. I thought, hey, it would be cool if something from the modulation matrix is addressed to the X and the Y from one of the fields. But you would see it, and you see it here, the, this one, the LFO. So it's cool for wobbles, this machine. Also, there are the phase distortion and wave shape. You can make without even a distortion um, uh, FX, a traditional distortion FX. It's not on board. But the distortion inside the waveform creates that the sound gets really gritty. Yeah, and then the different sound banks. There's an ambient bank with really, yeah, ambient sounds. I'm not. And maybe you see here a pitch bend and modulation wheel. Well, this is common in a rack extension. So 
Therefore, it's also in this of his T. Yeah, some nice pet sound. Spacey pet sound. It's really a very good sound engine, and you always can check a sound engine if it has fast envelopes, if it's also good for drums. And of course, last week, oh yeah, now I recall again that we talked about the 808 and tuned, tuned bass drums. Claps, sorry. Of course, we have for synthesized drums, punch too. But also, you see here inside, some nice percussion sound. Uh, some good bangs. Jamal, of course, always has great sounds. You see in this one, the arpeggiator, he uses the arpeggiator velocity to control the amp decay. Therefore, some notes are shorter than the other ones. Yeah, and definitely... Definitely, um, somebody has mentioned that for electronic bass drum, bunch bass drum is also great. Yeah, definitely. So the tempo is still very low on my Cubase. I think it's still on 70. So you see it down here at 70. So let's make it a bit more modest, 100. Some of the presets from Jamal. So you see a lot of different sounds. That's really cool. It's old style sound effects. I like the pads also. Uh, we have the vowel filter, which you see here. So I have more the VP. Uh. So synthesizer choir. So that's, uh, I always like the uh, vowel things. Or simply, big analog type sounds. So it's, I think one of the cool things of quad is that maybe you, it looks in front and you think, okay, what is this here about? But it's, you, uh, it's a, let's say, subtractive synthesizer with this phase distortion, which gives it so much different taste in terms of soundscaping it, it does sounds which are normally not possible with a subtractive synthesizer because of this wave shaping and phase distortion and uh, yeah the uh, the extreme sounds of course like like the wobbles <laughs> Ah, of course, a great example, but you also can yeah, do some very minimal things with the wave shaping things. Let me see if I can find a pad for you which uses this. Free envelope one controls the phase distortion of oscillator two, so. So that's really different compare. So if I put down now the amount, you only hear a bit of a wobble, pitch wobble from the envelope of the LFO modulation. But this uh, phase distortion uses the type gap. And if you open it, you already got this. And it pans left, right. So you, I can see here that the LFO also controls the panning of the um, oscillator 2. 
which is an internal panning destination. So, and then combined with oscillator one. So yeah, it's really doing things differently compared, for instance, with a Predator 2 or a BIT or a uh, or a Vecto or a Go2. So, and that I think is very cool about our, our bundle is that we have different faces, different types of synthesis. So for each, there is something which uh, might interest uh, um, them. And of course, me, as sound designer and synthesizer player, I'm always looking for new things, interesting sounds, and new roads uh, you can uh, go with with instruments. And uh, yeah, Quad is a good example. Uh, if you combine cool things about subtractive together with phase distortion and wave shaper. Okay, guys, um, I'm a checking a bit. <coughs> the pet without the bell that's from oscillator one so um this this is oscillator two with this and then oscillate no sorry this is oscillator two and oscillator one does this pet sound and maybe you think oh this i want to have only this pet sound it's also a possibility Nice, isn't it? Simply stars and pad. If you shut down oscillator two, you have a very nice analog type pad sounds. And it's one oscillator, but it uses spread. And spread is also inside each oscillator. It makes one oscillator turning in three oscillators. So one stays in the middle, the other two detune. Yeah, great to hear. Uh, no, we don't have an option for skin color adjustment. Yes, yeah, sometimes we get people request this. Um, with Quad, it would be a bit easier for custom uh, skins because essentially with Quad, unlike Predator 2 or Blue 2 or many of our other products, which have a lot of different pages, you only have two, uh, three pages. It's the uh, back panel, the bank manager, and the back panel is this one. So, uh, but then you need to place the images outside the um, the um, regular program. So we never did that before. So maybe it's a bit too bright for your eyes. I don't know. I think it's a very nice color to watch. And yeah, it's always uh, everybody has its own taste. Okay, well guys, it was a very long day. Is there maybe a question from somebody? Otherwise, I'm gonna stop for today because it was, I started eight o'clock this morning and it's again eight, nine o'clock here. We had a busy day with the release of Quad. And uh, so if you have Explorer 6, download the latest installer, uh, run it, and you have quad and the update of xy transfer and if you're new to yeah this instrument uh yeah you can download the demo and hopefully we see each other next week again in the next live stream and then uh, <coughs> let's see can you make a live of space next week Okay, I'm just checking the uh, the chat room.
Yeah, it's in it's inside Explore Six. We will send tomorrow the newsletter. Um, um, the all the only thing you need to do as the Explore Six owner is download the latest installer, run it, and then Quad will appear inside your music host program. Included the upgrade for XY transfer with the granular feature. Okay, thank you for watching. Uh, if you're a bit late, you always can start at the start of the uh, live stream. In the playlist live stream, uh, you can find um, um, all the live streams from uh, recent times in one um, YouTube folder called playlist. And then you can watch it again, or if you missed it, you can start at the very start. Thank you for watching. Stay well, and hope to see you uh, next week, Thursday, was another live stream. Bye.